My wife died in 2007. I still carry that burden. I, I feel that I'm, if it wasn't for my disease and I didn't have those medicines in my house, we, would, we were married for 20 plus years and we would still be married and alive to this day. I had morphine and methadone due to my, due to my multiple sclerosis. I put them in a lockbox. I hid the key. I tried everything in my power to keep those. I thought it was as safe as could be until one morning on October 18th of 2007, I woke up my wife dead because she had found the key, decided she needed the help or whatever she decided that night. Maybe if she'd gone to more of my doctor's appointments and asked more questions and listened to how dangerous these drugs really are, you know. I'd rather, I'd rather put up with my legs going paral, you know, paralyzed on some days than take that chance of having those in the house right now. I really would. Well, it doesn't just affect that one person, it affects everyone, my two, my two children, myself, and everyone. You know, if you are handed these medicines, please have a loved one. At least once a week, count those pills and make sure that there's not one or two even coming. And don't listen, hey, fell in the toilet, I dropped it. That's just excuses, and please, you know, don't give them a pass on that. It's, on something this serious, you can't give a person a pass. You really need to get the help if you really think they're into that. Go to your doctors, you know, do the research, ask, 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 ask a lot of questions, let people know what you're thinking. And if you even hear one person mention anything, even don't know them, turn around and talk to them. Please, go, this time to interfere with someone's life if you hear someone mention that, that you know, it might save their life that day.